Watching Jackets of All Trades. We are in Casamel already. Get ready for Cosmo. Carmen is wearing it. Carmen's carrying her tail, which is 53,000 pounds. Yep. But she loves it, so I guess it's a plus. So we're gonna go to Lido. We'll let you guys know. Right now it's time. 7:53. 7:53. So we're, oh, we're all gonna meet up. At eight. At eight. I'll fix that. So. Go team. Caro. Very good morning, Celebration family. Morning, this is Lee, your cruise director, just reminding you about our gangways this morning. They're down on deck three in the forward and the midship. For those of you going ashore, please remember your cabin key and photo ID. A driver's license or a state ID is perfect. Do not feel like you need your passport. Once again, a driver's license or state ID is perfect. It is strictly forbidden to take any food items ashore with you. Please discard of any food in the bins provided or speak to a crew member as necessary. Do be advised, bag checks are in operation here in the port of Cozumel. Back on board is 3.30, that's 3.30 p.m. ships time all guests need to be back on board celebration there is a one hour time difference between ship's time and local time ship's time is currently 8 10 a.m please make sure you are aware of ship's time before heading ashore now talking of going ashore there are local tour operators joining us on board on deck 16 by the main swimming pool. They've got tickets for an open touristic tour bus. It's $54.99 for adults, $44.99 for kids. Or if you'd prefer to go topless, there is a topless bus, easy sightseeing, $34.99 for adults, $24.99 for kids. There is a GPS audio guide system available in four languages, English, Spanish, Italian, and German. There's also a live tour guide, headphones, and a brochure available. It's a great way to go sightseeing through Cozumel as you explore its sites from an open top perspective of a state-of-the-art bus. You can learn about the rich history, vibrant culture, and natural wonders. Have a great day, whatever you choose to do. And lastly, don't forget about Cloud9 Spa. You can dial 1199 on any ship's phone to make your appointment. Have a great one, everyone. I'll see you out about later. Bye. <laughs> 
Ok, me dañaste todo de mi mente Soñando toda la noche de ti y tú solamente Enamorado Good morning vlog um, It is currently It's currently 8.50 We're in the Celebration Central um, And we are waiting on the rest of our group to come over And we're all gonna meet up here And then we're gonna go out to Cozumel It's to go to Mr. Santos, which you guys have seen on the channel before, but now there's so many more new people who have never been, so we're so excited. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we're leaving. Well, you have to take a couple pictures. She's smiling. That's going to be. Waiting for the rest of the family. Dang. Yo, stand up. I was supposed to win. Okay, he got both. Double points. I don't she don't win today. Wow. Okay, let me explain. So today was originally supposed to be Orange Day. And it happened to be the military appreciation day, which was supposed to be Friday. <laughs> yeah, everyone's upset because now half of us are in orange and half of us are in green because the green was for military appreciation day and i was told yesterday that military appreciation day, appreciation day was today so i'm like okay change it to green make sure to tell everybody my cousin didn't tell anybody the messages weren't going through so now we got half the group in orange and half the group in green but everybody's getting points today for that color because if you're wearing orange you get a point if you're wearing green you get a point and then on friday we'll just wear the opposite so friday will be orange for the jackets because all of us are in green today and it will be green for everybody else because they're all in orange well as in the bermuda triangle of the boys What's your channel name? What's your channel? My name is Bree. You can call me Bree. Okay, yes. You guys gotta go subscribe to her right now. We're gonna be at Mr. Santos together. Carnival Breeze, one of the first ships we ever vlogged on. How exciting! And we did come to Cozumel on the Breeze, if I am correct. I, we're just waiting on Sam and Carmen to get off the ship. Oh, Rally! Got Paula and Bob. Oh, there's Sam over there.
Sam is here. Look at that. The breeze. Y'all remember those memories? Guys. Look at that ship, and then look at this ship. It's like on steroids. I'm talking, this boat goes on forever that my point five can't even capture it. makes the breeze look like a baby. Yeah. been here multiple times before multiple times guys you already know and we are here again and going back to mr sancho's to do it up there i don't even what know. do you have this time Gone. what do you got this time i got my beautiful tail with me now we're gonna see if we get some shots underwater yes, oh, how exciting the underwater shots are <laughs> these are where all your excursions are gonna be you can sign up for some. It's better to sign up on the ship or even before you get on your cruise at all. You can also hang out right on the port too and just go shopping because it's a huge shopping experience. Kevin! What you doing, Kevin? What? Now that you've gone, I'm down. Okay, Arochito is the winner of the day though, because the boy did orange and green. I don't even know what in the carrot top you thought you were doing here. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Then we got these two over here. Look at this. Green and orange. They couldn't even pick what color they wanted today. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? Green and blue. Blue wasn't even one of the options. <laughs> Ah, 
But it has been declared by Sonia that today is a competition of orange versus green. So now we have to see how many green and how many orange there are. Well, you got both. Not gonna lie, go the guys. Not gonna lie, guys. The green ain't they ain't doing too hot. Guys, we say this tip every time. Make sure that you have either a physical watch or that your phone is set to a specific time zone which is normally for us on the east side is new york time zone that's what the, the ship is on so my phone is set to ship time which is 9 45 and everybody's phone is already reading 8 45 so be aware of the time <laughs> We always think it's best to buy your souvenirs when you get back to the port and then you go right onto the ship so you don't have to carry it with you along to your excursions. channel is breezy. Wait, you have you your YouTube you channel? Oh, I you? Know this channel. I, I did not know. Yeah. Oh. And she had a, <laughs> one of the Fin Fun Mermaid tails and she didn't know she could bring it out onto the port. Oh. Yeah. We're going to have to get shots though. I'm saying. A hundred percent. But we're going to keep an eye on her. We're going to try to get the most embarrassing videos of her. <laughs> so if you're from her channel, so if you're from her channel, we're going to have them. We're going to have them for you guys. Comment. Comment. <laughs> Okay, kitties, so we are moving to our transportation. Yep. We have no idea where, what car we're going in. We're going, but we're taking a time, and I can't believe I'm the mermaid. I am in love. Guys, Bree is a legit mermaid, too. Bebel, what you doing? I just want to be here. Y'all just want to be in the vlog. Turn up. No, yes. Yeah, we got a new, another Finn friend. Your sister. Your sister. Say hi to the fam. I did a fam. This is our other sister. <laughs> Bree is vlogging. Bree's vlogging. Hello, hello. We heard you had a mermaid tail too. Oh, wait, you do what? mermaiding too? Why would you say that? She does it too. Go, we need mermaids on the channel. <laughs> I should have brought my mermaid tail. You guys should have. How many of us? Like a hundred? Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we met Bree. I 
I know. How crazy is that? She's the nicest ever. Oh my gosh. Like the sweetest person in the entire world. Yeah. I can't wait to see them we're this gonna summer. We're going to be hanging out with the rest of the crew, so oh. add her to the list. A hundred percent. Tell them what happened. Okay, guys. So the guy was driving or whatever, and then he... The car is silent. We're chilling. We're laughing. We're talking. And then he goes, well, I'm going to pull over for a second. The guy pulls over and gets out the car. He literally got out the car and he started walking around the car. I was like, is he about to be like, someone pull over. We're going to get sex traffic right now. We're done. We were all stressed. And then Eddie goes, so we're going to get kidnapped now or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so, so we're going to get kidnapped. I don't remember what he said, but it was so funny. And then... The guy was like checking a tire or something and then he hopped back in the car and was like, okay, and then just starts driving. It was funny, but it was stressful. We, everyone's heart sank when the guy got out the car. And I was like, where is he going? Because we about to get... Yeah, he, he didn't say nothing to us. He didn't. He literally just he pulled said, the car over. Pull over. Pulls over, gets out the car. That's for a, a, a while. We were, we're watching We're all him. sitting in the car silent like, okay, so who's throwing hands right now? <laughs> But then he got in the car, silent, doesn't say anything, and then just keeps driving. That was crazy. It was strange. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, you said, here comes the kidnapping. I, I, I just got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You guys are... We're bad. What? Eddie started it. Eddie started it.